Thank you, Mr. President. The International Publishers Association would firstly like to thank our Moroccan hosts. Their warm hospitality, generosity, and impressive organizational skills have created the setting in which the, uh, this outcome could be achieved. IPA would next like to congratulate WIPO and its member states for the successful conclusion of the diplomatic conference in Marrakesh. We would like to thank the delegates, Director General Francis Gurry and his secretariat, the committee chairs and facilitators, and all other stakeholders who have contributed to the negotiation process. IPA would particularly like to thank the authors and publisher representatives who have contributed to the process by providing factual information on accessibility developments entirely demonstra and tirelessly demonstrating their willingness to reach out to the VIP community to achieve a simple, practical, and clear treaty text. As a result of all these efforts, we have arrived at the treaty text that is before us now. This treaty is certainly unique in the way it addresses a very specific humanitarian need. It stands out and therefore should stand alone. It shows the extent and the limits that we reach in the effort to homogenize copyright exceptions internationally. At the same time, the WIPO-Marrakesh Treaty references many other WIPO treaties and principles that have long been established and are hereby reinforced. This inclusive approach highlights once more that human rights, balance, care for equality, access, and creativity resides not in one, but all WIPO treaties and instruments. IPA therefore calls for all member states to sign this treaty, and when doing so, to reflect on all WIPO treaties concluded over the past two decades. Together, they provide a coher coherent, enabling legal framework that allows the balancing of the human rights of freedom of expression, human creativity, and equal access. All treaties marry careful consideration for accession. A broader commitment to the full body of international copyright law would have made negotiations during these past 10 days far easier. In the meantime, IPA looks forward as the world is changing around us for authors, publishers, and persons with print disabilities. The world's publishers will continue to work with all stakeholders to improve access for persons with print disabilities and to achieve our common goal and the objective of this treaty, equal access for all. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much.